What is going on guys? My name is Jay Fanta. Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we're going to do the Dokkan tag created by a good friend of mine named Zenovo. <clears throat> Add me to your sub box. So if you don't know what the Dokkan tag is, it's pretty much 12 pre-selected questions for me to answer. And I'll tag a few other YouTubers at the end of the video to do the same 12 questions. And hopefully it trends out to pretty much every single Dokkan YouTuber there is. So anyway, let's get into the questions. So the first question we have here is, are you more of a global player or a JP player? Now I'm definitely going to say I'm a global player. I rarely touch JP Dokkan battle, and that's because I'm pretty much lazy. I don't like farming medals or items twice the amount that I should have. And the only time I ever touch JP is to farm stones for a future summoning video. So yeah, I am a global player. So the second question we have is when and why did you start playing Dokkan? Now I started playing Dokkan religiously when the one year anniversary for the global side was happening. And the reason why I got into it was because at that time we got a lot of stones and I just got hooked on summonings. And in the end I got into the game mechanics and all that stuff. And it ended up just being a very good game that I couldn't stop playing. And I still can't stop playing. I think at this point it's an addiction. So yeah, that is question number two. Question number three is, why did you start uploading Dokkan on YouTube? So before I started making Dokkan videos on YouTube, I would always get shafted with the crap SSRs and all that stuff. I never got Gogeta. I never got the new banner card that came out. All I got was the unfeatured SSRs. And I ended up getting so many free-to-play cards that I was like, you know what? I'm going to create a new account with just only free-to-play cards and post on YouTube and at that time I was watching a lot of Living Ichigo and all that stuff where they were doing free to play guides and I thought it was a pretty cool challenge to do. I actually sometimes use their teams to do it as a reference so I thought if this actually helped other people then I, would, <laughs> then I wanted to do the same thing and that's the reason why I started doing Dokkan videos on YouTube. So the next question we have here is if you wanted to collab with me specifically how would they go about doing so? So if you really do want to collab with me, even though I'm not the best YouTuber to collab with, I would recommend having amazing Dokkan content already on your channel so that when people go check out your channel, they will stick around and understand who you are personality-wise and what you upload. You don't want to just have some random videos on your YouTube channel and then have a banger Dokkan battle video out of nowhere because if they go check out your previous videos, they'll be like, this guy doesn't even upload Dokkan Battle videos. What's the point of subscribing to him, if that makes sense? And then one of the most important things is to have an innovative idea. You want to just stand out from the crowd and do something a bit different that is still enjoyable to watch. So yeah, that was question number four. For question number five, we have, what is one feature you would like to see brought into Dokkan Battle besides trading? One feature that I would love to see is a PvP real-time online mode where it would be like a battlefield mode versing another player and using your units, try to beat their barrier. Same thing like battlefield mode. But then after you win that battle, you get a certain rarity chest. Just like Clash Royale or Pokemon Duel, you can decide to open it and wait a few minutes to unlock. And then you get a certain unit for your character box and it would help a lot of the players especially for free to play players so they can get a chance to get a certain card and it will even help the pay to play players uh, use just a little bit less money or even add revenue for Bandai since like Clash Royale you can use their money currency to unlock the chest straight away and with that a ranking system would be so good a ranking system just makes the game more addicting and it makes many other games that much more successful you can look at Clash Royale, Pokemon Duel uh, CSGO if you've ever played that on Steam, Dota, LOL, they all have a ranking system and they've all been successful so if Dokkan Battle can add that to the game that would definitely be very good. I know they do have the World Tournament ranking system but that's not really skill based it's more like how much time you put into it rather than how much skill you have against other people. So we're halfway through the questions at this point. We have a really quick one here. What was your first SSR card? And that would be the Tech Picon. I got it from the Gogeta banner when it first released. And I was pretty disappointed at that point. Just because I really wanted the Ultimate Gohan. I didn't know like card stats and all that. I just wanted Ultimate Gohan because Gohan's my favorite character. So yeah, that was my first SSR card. Question number seven is, what is your favorite Dokkan card you currently have? My favorite card would definitely be the LR Androids. I don't know why, it just has 
a sentimental value to me where my YouTube channel is pretty much based on at this point how to get the LR androids from start to finish using all free to play cards and it just shows everyone that you can get these amazing cards without spending a dollar on the game so yeah that was question number seven Ooh. so for our next question we have is what is your favorite Dokkan card art now I really hate when people ask this question and that's because I really don't know what is my favorite card art but one of my top Dokkan card arts that I really do like is the mask same Bardo art where he's holding his broken mask and he has his uh, key in his other hand. I feel like that's pretty dope. It kind of reminds me of Kakashi from Naruto. So yeah, that would be one of my top ones, I would say. Next question we have here is what is one Dokkan card you want badly that you don't have? Uh, every summonable SSR card. <laughs> nah, jokes. One free to play card that I would definitely want at this point in time would be General Blue. I can't seem to summon him on the DB Saga summons, even though he's an SR card. And he's a really useful card, and it would help me for all of my free-to-play guides in the future. So that would be definitely one of my top cards that I would badly want to have. So enough said about that. Now we're on to the double digit. Question number 10. What is the most powerful token card you have, and how is their dupe system looking? If you haven't seen my previous video on the LR androids, that is the most powerful card I have at the moment. Their dupe system is fully maxed, so very happy about that. Next goal is the LR Goku, but I want to wait for the new version of that event to come out so it's just easier to get the dupes, because at this point, his drop rate is so low. And like I said before, I don't like farming at all. Second last question, the penultimate question. What is your favorite team to run? At this moment, it's going to be the Mono AGL team which consists of the Saiyan Man from the Barber Store as my leader, Demigod, then the AGL Whis, Super Saiyan Goku from the Sprint Summons that is Awakened, LR Androids, Murasaki the Seal, Super Vegito as the friend, and then the Super Strike Pycon. It's such a good team to run, especially for free-to-play players, as you get a lot of HP and attack boosts from that. So that is my go-to team at the moment. And finally, the last question is, what is your favorite moment you've had with Dokkan on YouTube so far? Honestly, it's just all the support and all the friends that I've made so far. I would never have thought that I would even reach to this point ever. And I'm just growing so fast that I can't even comprehend it at this point. Even though it seems to be just a little bit, but for me, it's so amazing that a lot of people want to watch this and that I do help a lot of people with Dokkan events and such. So pretty much it's the entire ride of this YouTube journey that I've had so far. And hopefully this journey lasts forever. What a good question to end it off with. But anyway guys, that has been the Dokkan tag. Make sure you check out Zenobe's channel in the description. And go check out his Dokkan tag video where he answers the same 12 questions. If I were to recommend another video for you guys on his channel, it would definitely be the YouTubers banner summons where he summons a lot of the famous YouTubers. If you haven't seen that already, then I don't know where you've been. Now, as a tradition, every tag video, we gotta tag other YouTubers. So, unfortunately, he's tagged most of the YouTubers that I would've tagged, but I'm gonna tag two people. That is Chuzzy HD. I think he'll get this tag around to a lot of people. And then LR Noah, because I have no one else to tag. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that has been all for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, of course. But as always, thank you guys for watching. It's been Jay for Enter, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay busy. Peace out.